Minhaj, he says, can we actually see the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in dreams? What should we do in order to have this privilege? The hadith is authentic. The Prophet said, Alayhi Wasallam, whoever sees me in his dreams, he has seen me for real. And the scholars gave different interpretation. One famous interpretation was that this was addressing the companions who did not migrate nor were privileged to meet the Prophet ﷺ at his time. So this was like giving, him, giving them a glad tiding and saying to them, listen, if you see me in your dreams, this means that you will migrate and meet me in the flesh, in person. Another interpretation was that this was addressing the companions whom the Prophet ﷺ was with. So he was with them. They recognized him. So he told them that if you see me in your dreams and I say something to you, then this is a true reality because you recognize me, you know me, shaitan cannot impersonate me. So whatever I say to you in the dream, that's legit, that's real, because that, that was me. And both opinions are not that strong. The third opinion, which a lot of the Salaf used to embrace, was that whoever sees the Prophet ﷺ in his dreams, while succeeding in describing him as he was described in the seerah, then he had seen the Prophet ﷺ because Satan cannot impersonate him. From this, we understand that when someone comes to us and says, Oh, Sheikh, I saw the Prophet ﷺ and he had a big afro. I said, that wasn't the Prophet. Or I saw the Prophet ﷺ, he was like four or five foot tall and he had Chinese uh, or, or uh, um, uh, Asian uh, uh, facial features. I said, that wasn't the Prophet ﷺ. If he, someone says, I saw the Prophet, but all what I saw was light. I could not see how he looked like. Or I saw a tall man. Or I saw someone wearing jeans. This was not the Prophet. You have to describe him as he was described in the authentic Sunnah. And uh, he said, finally, what should we do in order to have this privilege? There isn't anything you can do. Nobody knows what uh, to be done, the more you love the Prophet the more you follow his sunnah. And the more you follow his sunnah, the more you are actually visualizing him. You see, when we pray and we put our right hand over the left on the chest, because we remember the hadith of Wa'il ibn Hujr, that this is how the Prophet used to pray, alayhi salatu salam. So we envision this. We, we can see it. And this beats a thousand times more than seeing him in a dream. Because we don't have a lot of emphasis or importance over dreams in Islam. So if you see him, that's great. Does it mean that you will never go to hell? No. Does it mean you're a companion? Uh, not at all. Is it a glad tiding? Hopefully. It depends on what you do in your day-to-day -day life. If you see the Prophet in your dreams, but you're not complying with his sunnah, and you're far away from practicing Islam, this doesn't add anything to you, and Allah knows best. Finally.